All right, got this county line six foot straight blade. And if you've watched my other videos on this, I've used it plowing snow and pushing dirt and stuff like that. And that's worked well, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, just a couple times I've had to tighten up the bolts here for the pins and that's about it. It's done a good job. Um, getting in and out of the tractor to adjust it, you know, not a big deal to some people, not a big deal to me, but you know, when it's snowing and blowing, it's nice to just uh, hit a button or flip a lever and have this zzz, 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 move like that. So I'm thinking about putting this hydraulic cylinder on there. Now this hydraulic cylinder, if you've watched one of my other videos on using this as a hydraulic top link, not a great idea from what a lot of people were commenting on. So I appreciate you guys comments always. And uh, what people were saying was this might not be the greatest cylinder for this because of these two ears. This has one, two ears here. And so does this end, one and two. And that can bind um, with the side to side movement when you're using that as a top link right here. So this top link, um, this of course is just a manual one. It only has one ear or one joint there and one ear, one joint right there, right? And so here, this can bind and potentially bend or break something. And that's what they're saying. So um, not the best choice for a hydraulic top link. So I'm gonna repurpose this. We're gonna put it on this. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm probably gonna make some mistakes. Um, why don't you come along with me and uh, hopefully we'll get this figured out. Okay, so this is fully extended. I wanna go center point to center point, and that's about center right there. It's not super exact science, but I'm measuring 27 and a quarter to center right there, okay? As far as the length of this goes, let me spin this around. This is a three inch bore and eight inch stroke. So this is not a real long throw uh, cylinder. There's eight inches right there, so it's right on, okay? So that's extended. Let's uh, measure the closed length. Now it should be 27 and a quarter minus eight, which would be 19 and a quarter. So let's see if that's true. All right, so right about there and 19 and a quarter. That's that's exactly right. So I'm going to use those two measurements for my two extremes. Um, 19 and a quarter and 27 and a quarter. And then, of course, the middle uh, where I'm going to set this up is going to be 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and a quarter. 24, 25, 26, 27 and a quarter. So it's going to be four inches, eight inches in between divided by two is four, of course. And so it'll be 23 and a quarter. Um, right in the middle. Let's just straighten it out. All right, now I already put a couple marks here. This is 27 and a quarter inches with the blade straight. I'm sorry, 23 and a quarter, because that's right in the middle. So that um, 23 and a quarter, because that was my halfway mark between 19 and a quarter and 27 and a quarter. So this is where we're gonna set it up. I'm basically gonna cut, put my holes, um, center points here and center point here and then that should give me enough throw. Now, how much, if I turn this fully to one side, let's see how much this moves, just so we know. And that's 21 inches, okay? So the throw of this is 19 and a quarter to 27 and a quarter. So this is gonna be plenty. We can even spin it the other way. Okay, now this is way up here, that's 26. So we still have, we can go all the way to 27 and a quarter. So that's the full throw basically of this. Actually we can go further, but we don't really want to because um, the blade's getting so narrow, its path is um, be kind of pointless. But uh, so this eight inch cylinder is gonna be plenty for using on this. Okay, now important point to keep in mind is this is 23, 23 and a quarter or so. So this is the midpoint of the cylinder, right? And, but the further, so as far as the throw goes, I still have an inch plus to play with on each side. But the further out I go this way, the more cylinder it's gonna use. So I gotta be careful about how far out I go here because I might run out of room. If I'm going, let's just take an extreme here. Like if I'm moving this cylinder way out here, it's gonna take a lot more distance um, when the cylinder extends to turn the blade, uh, to turn it to the angles that I want to get the full tilt. tilt. So I got to be careful about how far out I go here. Okay, just get this squared up. It's good. All right, now we're just going to slide this in place here. So I want this.
far enough away. I want the cylinder far enough away from here so that when the blade tilts that way and the cylinder swings that way, that doesn't hit right there. And I think that'll give it plenty of clearance right there. If not, I can always notch it out a little bit. Um, otherwise, I also have to watch for this part hitting this right here as the blade turns that way because this will come closer to this. And that's why I have it this far away. So let's just measure it make sure that we're fairly close to where we want to be. 14 centimeters there. 14 centimeters there. Okay. Now we'll put a couple marks on here. Right in the center. Right in the center here. Felt like I moved it there, but let's see. Nope. All right. Now this distance should still be about 23 and a quarter from here to here. And yep, 23 and a quarter. Now let's go ahead and rotate it this way. Here we have, what do we got? Uh oh, 18 and a quarter. So 19 and a quarter was our short side. Now we've got 18 and a quarter. So it, with the hydraulic cylinder sticking out way out here, it's not going to go to its full throw. Let's see how far it'll go. That's 19 and a quarter right there. So is that an angle enough? I think it is. I think I'm going to use that. Let's just flip it the other way and make sure that it's not any bigger than 27 and a quarter. See where 27 and a quarter meets up here. 27 and a quarter. Okay. So that's a pretty good throw. I mean, I'm not sure I would go any steeper than that because then the blades, if you're dragging this way, the blade's so narrow, it's hardly doing anything. So I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to measure this distance right here. And we're going to write this down. That's six and three quarter. And this distance is going to be a little bit different. That's four and one eighth. Okay, those are going to be my centers. Now I got to get a little bit of steel. And then how thick is steel? I'd like to use 3 eighths on this end and 3 eighths on this end as well. Um, I'm going to have to pick up some more 3 eighths. I'd like it to be pretty wide because I'm going to be drilling a one inch hole in it. And so I think two and a half inches would be plenty. Obviously it doesn't take much force at all to move the blade, but once it's on the ground, this hydraulic cylinder has to hold it in place. So that's what I'm worried about is that stress. So I'm going to use 3 8 here, maybe even 3 8 or, or even um, half back here.